hey guys welcome to civil engineer sada so today we are going to uh, do a tutorial on uh, non linear plastic analysis of i beam in ansys okay. uh, make sure that uh, this is the dimension of the i beam that i'm going to consider i'm going to model it in the same space claim and then i will just show you the analysis in the plastic range actually i have uh, there's a stress strain diagram of the steel here so you can just see that this is the plastic region here so this entire thing is a plastic region so this plastic region plasticized that is there will be a permanent deformation and which cannot be got and again i'm going to unload the thing so then we'll see what is the stress so this for my steel here okay so this erash is a true stress here so we are just going to see the plastic region here plastic region of uh, the steel behavior okay this is a workbench so let's uh, drag and select a static structural okay fine so let's name this as uh, double click and name this as i beam okay fine guys so we have to select the material for uh, nonlinear analysis so in this uh, ansys has a default material of uh, collection of uh, non-linear material general non-linear materials okay you just see you have to go to general non-linear materials and from there you have to select uh, the st steel you have to select uh, steel here uh, you can just go for steel structural steel you have to go for structural steel nl okay so fine guys so i have selected the structural steel nl that is nl means non-linear so fine so uh, this is done so now let's get into the project here and i need to do the draw geometry in the space claim so i'll just uh, carry out the so guys the space claim has been loaded so let's start with the modeling uh, i'll just take this sketch here x y and we'll just have this here and now i'm just going to load this part here uh we'll just see here if i'm just loading it will be in this side okay no problem plan view i'll just uh, we already have some prepared materials but still i'm feeling uh, it's com comfortable just to go for uh, manual uh, entry of the things so just select just select define rectangle from center and then you can see that uh, we need a rectangle of uh, 200 200 and uh, the thickness is 10 mm so what i'm going to do is uh, what i'll do is okay so this is 200 so take rec define rectangle from center so this is 10 mm fixed this is 200 mm okay fine so let's trim the unwanted part here this is unwanted let it let us trim it and here also we have some unwanted part let us trim it okay fine so now we have to get uh 150 mm here so 150 by 2 if you do if you take a cals here 150 by 2 so one here okay 70 done and again 10 mm and now we have 150 here so so 10 mm here just join the edges and now you will be able to see i think you have to see this is 70 so total is uh, 150 mm so this is perfect now now by keeping the reference of uh, the original drawing you can just uh, do the tracing out here no need to go very in deep here so all all thicknesses are 10 mm so just drag here just take a reflection so ansys directly it will uh, take the dimensions so 10 mm and again just join the parts here okay fine i think you have you came to know how to create and now one thing we have to make is we have the corners here the radius uh, root of radius there will be a root of radius radius root so for that to make what we have to select is here we have to select create a rounded corner okay we have to create a rounded corner let me show you in the diagram here so r the radius here is 5 mm okay i'll just show you how to make it so just select the corner here and just select it and select as 5 mm 
okay here also just select phi same thing here so this is phi again and phi again okay guys so everything is done here uh this is the the cross section of uh, the the i beam is uh, ready so only thing is we need to pull it down so let's pull it in this way because our origin is in uh, this direction so we'll have a 500 mm length it's a small one okay so fine so this is uh, 500 mm in length so, so we'll make this as 750 mm okay we'll just make it as uh, 750 mm we'll make it as 750 mm okay so we'll just take some 250 extra so this is a total 750 mm so so total is 1750 mm okay so guys this is ready now uh, so just we'll load this uh, model in the mechanical so i've just loaded it here in the mechanical part so this is the model that is in ansys mechanical so now we have to see that uh, the material assigned is uh, structural non-linear so just select structural non-linear instead of the default will be structural steel so make sure it is structural non-linear material so done and one important thing uh, i want to tell you guys is meshing related to meshing so if you go, go for a very small mesh then it will take a lot of time to a uh, lot of time to solve since the elements will be more and the nodes will be more so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take uh, uh 20 mm okay i'll just take a 20 mm uh, and just see the size of the mesh how it is generated so you don't get uh, very accurate results if you go for 5 mm then you get very accurate results but still uh, since we have uh, uh, we have doing analysis in a very limited time in the video otherwise it will take a lot of time so it's to get a, a quick results uh, like you can go for small mesh and then if you want to refine it then obviously you can go for a very fine mesh uh, now we have to select the static structural and uh, from there we should insert a fixed support okay we need to insert a fixed support at one end here so insert a fixed support yes yeah, this is done and now in the analysis settings you have to take the number of steps as two take the number of steps as two and uh, auto time step auto time stepping you just make it uh, on and uh, initial sub steps uh, let us take it as 30 and uh, minimum sub uh, we can just take this as 15 sorry not this one here take this as uh, 15 sub uh, sub steps and minimum sub steps has also 15 and maximum sub steps just take it as 50 okay so these are the steps sub steps in in the sense they divide the load okay they divide the load and uh, now we have to make one more thing is large deflection you have to say it as on make sure that last deflection is on and now you have to insert a pressure here uh, just pressure just insert pressure here select the surface top surface and insert okay one thing very important thing to note here is that uh, we are going to let's for magnitude of the pressure we are let us select uh, the tabular region here we'll select a tabular region that is a tabular data so in tabular data in the sense you have to just see here the tabular data is here so select i'm just selecting 5 megapascal of load means initially the step one is zero and uh, it's a just default step one five megapascal load will be applied from zero to five megapascal and from five to again zero okay so there is a loading and unloading pattern that i'm going to apply that is from zero to five megapascal and from five to again zero so i'm just uh, making sure that there's a this is this is the non-linear behavior that is this is the non-linear analysis of the beam okay if the load is going uh, going on increasing in a same pattern or in the same slope then it is linear if it is uh, having a stepped or it is uh, increasing in the different intervals i'm just it is five 
okay fine and now not a problem now what i'm going to do is just one thing you have to be very careful you have to make the z axis here it has the independent axis here so the coordinate system is here okay fine ah, just make sure that the independent axis here is independent variable z okay so since our beam is only uh, you can just say our beam is only uh, 750 mm so you don't need this 2000 and other things so just delete them okay just delete the rows so here you need only 750 this is 750 mm means only for the 750 mm region we are going to select so make sure that it is 750 mm pressure 0 pi and now for time what you have to make is so initially the time here will be so from 0 to 1 second and again back to 0 okay so in this way uh, the scale has been reduced here so now pressure so i think pressure we have given so it's showing here as uh, zero just uh, let's check this pressure is here the pressure tabular data okay the tabular data pressure we have to select this as five megapascal five megapascal of load and then zero here so this is done guys so let's start the solution let's load the solution now let's ask it to solve so while sol uh, solving the model you can just go to the solution information and from solution output or solver output you can see the graph you can see the force convergence okay uh, so force convergence data will appear here on the graph okay so this will take time okay this will take a lot of time actually it may take up to 10 minutes to solve the uh, beam depending on your computer configuration so it's so only i have loaded the mesh size as 20 mm if you take a very refined mesh then it will be uh, it will take a lot of time don't worry i have taken a a uh, little bit more uh, mesh size only so i'll just get back to you when this is ready okay so guys i have uh, stopped the solution or interrupted the solution uh, because this is taking a lot of time uh, so now the analysis uh, i just loaded the equivalent uh, elastic strain here this is not uh, completely done this is done only up to the step 42 uh, you can just see it here uh, if you want you can just see the solution information it is done only up till this step uh, sub step for 42 since it is taking a lot of time i just uh, uh, have to stop it in between so now we'll insert strain i have inserted the uh, strain oh sorry i've inserted the strain and now i'm going to insert the stress here uh, let me go for equivalent stress here and uh, regarding the strain one more thing i'll just uh, see that is uh, equivalent total strain so all those things let's see uh, evaluate uh, all results here fine can just uh, it takes small time here okay so you can just see the uh, one minus stress equivalent one minus stress so the yield point will be 250 m 250 mpa the yield of the the yielding normal yield point for the steel is 250 mpa so it has reached up to 338 so let's probe the values minimum maximum so you can just see this is a maximum and i'll just uh, run the animation here i'll just run the animation so you can just see let me uh, see the front view uh, so it will be clear uh, sorry uh, let me take the side here just select this x yes you can just see that the plastic section the beam has failed momentarily here that is the plastic failure means there's a load just see load applied load removed load applied load removed so in this way there's a when you apply the load there will be a plastic uh, deformation happening here okay so we'll see the deformation also 
uh, we'll see the total deformation as well solve you have at all results done so you can see that deformation is a 21.316 mm almost uh, two, uh, two centimeter okay now we are going to see i hope you understood the graph here you can just see the graph here this is a in this is not a complete graph here so i'm just a little bit uh okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going to find find the deformation or equivalent stress strain for the individual node so for that just right click somewhere on the window here and uh, just go for view top view just select the top view so just zoom in here uh, zoom out a little bit now select this part here node some uh, some subscriber had uh, had asked me to how to uh, carry out the no individual node analysis so for that you need to select uh, the nodes so there's a node here node head this is a node face element face uh, sorry this is element node element face and element okay i just want some one element anywhere here so let me take close to the boundary here because since it is a failed there let me take it here okay so for that element just let me insert the strain that is a equivalent total strain and one more thing that i will insert is a stress equivalent stress okay so just uh, say all the you have let all the results so that is done now so let's uh, go for the isometric view again the element here is uh, selected so you can just see that this one element has been selected here so you can just see this is the one element that has been selected you can see the graph here okay so what uh, you can just see the this is equivalent stress equivalent elastic strain i think uh, okay total deformation this is the stress equivalent strain and uh, equivalent stress of the element equivalent stress of this element okay of this node here so i think this is the no element here so again on this element itself we have to again insert the stress that is equivalent stress and so we have laid that result as well so this is the graph actually okay fine Mm, equivalent uh, strain here yes and uh, this one we need select both of them holding the control and just say uh, plot a graph here chart okay just uh, say it as a chart here and here i don't want the time to be shown so just uh, double click on it omit okay so just don't want uh, the uh, plot style x axis i just don't want time so equivalent uh, strain strain i just need it here so equivalent total so let me bring this back here i'm not getting which component is it is so i just want this equivalent total strain to so just to select that chart equivalent strain to equivalent strain to minimum maximum okay plot scale linear x-axis display uh now i don't want uh and i want strain on the y-axis here so you can just see that there is a sudden increase in load and uh so you can just see this graph there's a sudden increase linear part here so when you unload it from this point then it will get uh, equivalent strain and you want stress here on the y-axis mm, plot scale and uh, time display omit we don't want time here maximum strain too yes we want that to display and uh, yes 
so this is the part of loading that has to be minimum we don't want omit maximum so this is a graph that i had told you this is the stress strain curve for the structural steel okay okay so i hope you got this video so you can prepare a report here you can just uh, go here print preview we can generate the report and all the values here you can just copy them and then you can just uh, see you can just load them so i hope you got how to calculate this so you can just see let me take the bigger scale result i'll just shows the scale i'll just shop this uh, scale in the sense okay so some bigger scale then you'll understand so guys i think you understood how to get the results so i just uh, saw solved here uh, halfway because it is taking a lot of time to solve and uh, so just to make you understand that if you solve it completely then you'll get a very accurate result here's also the load is getting distributed nothing in the sense it is uh, okay thank you thank you guys uh, just don't forget to subscribe my channel please watch my video and share it to your friends uh, so let's uh, let me meet you in my next video till then take care thank you